Hello, my name is Jack Arnold. I'm a system engineer in the Sound and Vibration Group with National Instruments. I wanted to share with you an X control that I've been working on that is very useful for uh, medium to high channel count applications where you just want to get a, a quick view of signal levels and the, the status of, of different channels in your system. Um, I call this X control the, the channel monitor X control. You can get to it after you install it on your user control palette right here and you can drop it down. Uh, one nice thing is that you can actually expand it and it will show as many different bars as tall as the control is. It's also very easy on the block diagram. It shows up as accepts a waveform data type. Uh, one nice feature is that if you are acquiring data from DACMX it will actually auto populate uh, the channel names in the control with the channel names and the attributes of the from DACMX. I'll go ahead and delete this now. Now when I'm running this you can see basically I have a couple channels here their names are pre-populated. Um, I have two levels. I have a peak level and a current level and as they change they, uh, it gets updated on the monitor. I can also view the time domain data as it comes in on each different channel so I can have multiple displays up at the same time. These displays I can resize as I want to. And there's the, the uh, graph palette down here too so if I wanted to zoom in I could. Um, I'll go ahead and close that. Another thing you can do is if you want to change the color of your actual levels is you can select the color for the current and the peak levels and level meter. Um, there are a couple other things I'll talk about here. One is you can you can reset the peak anytime you want. So now the peak of the meter is reset. Another thing that you can look at is overload detection. So in order to, to see that is you can right click on the graph and do view overloaded channels. This will pop up another display. Here we have a slider that tells you the percentage of range. Um, for the overloader channels. Now this is a software overload, not a hardware overload. Now as I increase the level of my channels, you'll see as as they get above 90%, they'll start to pop up and then they'll they'll show up in my overloader channels display. Now if I reset the peak, they'll disappear. And the last thing I wanted to show was you can pop up lots of different windows as I've already shown. You can also just close them all at once and go back to a very simple single window. And uh, that's it for the Channel Monitor X Control. Um, I would encourage you to download it and to look at the source and modify it to suit your needs.